Ya, apuyoka. And uh, specifically, this is a, a clutch vehicle or uh, this is a clutch vehicle which is manual and uh, as the same as uh, the neutral pack switch representing the automatic vehicle. But uh, all these cars, they have some common parts like the starter motor, the starter motor solenoid, the computer, the ignition key, the starter relay, so plus the battery. So all these parts are in most cases the same. So now, but today's video, I'm going to show you that we have some cars whereby if you don't press the brake or if it is not in a neutral or park the car fails to start then if you're wearing this car without forgetting that the computer should do its work but the coloring wiring i'm going to use here is not very important what is important is to know which part to which part okay so um uh, always you start with your red wire this red big wire from the battery to the starter ignition key then from the starter ignition key that power is there because we have uh, another wire from the starter ignition key here going to the accessories. So we tap that, that, that amount of load from this ignition key with a given big wire and we head it to accessories. Okay. Then uh, after that, we will have another big wire, another color of wire. It can either be green. Uh, it can either be blue. Let me apply green. Another green wire from the ignition key to the clutch. And this same wire runs from the clutch or brake to the neutral pack switch. And even if you key enough to see, uh, if you can imagine it as if you have seated in your car, you'll always have this clutch down the key. And then the park neutral switch at the at the at, at your side of your sitting of your driver sitting chair or passenger sitting there then from this park neutral switch because now if the brake or clutch closes power continues to the neutral or park switch so if the neutral park switch is open the car will not start if the park neutral switch is closed and you fail to break or clutch the pedal, the car will not start because there is an open there. The circuit is still the circuit is still open. Then from here, we are going to have uh, another wire running from the neutral pack switch to the computer. So we again run another wire from the neutral pack switch, telling the computer that the car has packed properly and the brake or clutch has been pressed it is only waiting for the it is the computer is now waiting to tell the relay to turn on so now how this relay turns on let's before we reach that point let's go and uh, the and the connect our starter relay to the computer then from the computer to the starter relay then from the starter relay, we are going direct to the starter motor solenoid solenoid because this is our switch like so then from here we are going also to have another wire which will tap power from this load cable onto our relay switch because this is a switch it can, it keeps open and it closes for a given time whereby you're tapping on the you're tapping on the all the power coming into start the motor then again we have another wire from this load cable again coming down to power the starter motor so all these 
work like that. You can either add it here or you can either put it there or you may decide to put on the terminals straight because you have these two terminals on that starter motor solenoid. Then the remaining part here now it is adding. Let me add and then tell you the review afterwards. Adding is always black or grounding. You can either say adding or grounding. So our starter motor is asked. We are going also to ask our relay. We finalize with adding the battery. So this is how our car is wired. That is the wiring diagram. However, I will repeat this. Coloring of the wires that are fused is not very important. But uh, where the wire runs and where it heads and its function is the most important thing to note. Then I have another video over this wiring system. I'm going to give you that end screen. You will tap in and see uh, with the subscribing button. Please keep subscribing for more videos just like this one. And uh, pressure is coming on more. Uh, so we have another relay, which is always put here where purple is okay. There is another relay here. So what this relay does, we get another wire from the computer <clears throat> and send it to the relay. So after when the when the computer is powering the the starter relay, that is the same time when the computer powers the other relay to power off all the accessories for a while. In order, we have another enough current which will start our starter motor solenoid here for a start up without wasting our battery because we all know that the battery can easily get discharged before we start our car, which we don't want. So we imagine that let's release the other accessories and emphasize on starting the, the starter motor first for the car to crank and then we will include in that more again. So immediately after starting this this computer received the signals that you know now the car once you turn the key again the key returns you don't turn, but it returns in accessories and on position. So when the key returns in accessories and on position, this power supply here is cut off. So when this power supply here is cut off, the computer received that signal that there is no more need of this supply power. Then it also cuts off this supply. Then the supply only remains heading to the accessories. So you find that now the car has started, it is cranking, then your radio set, your indicator lights, your accessory lights are now turning back again because the car has started. So hope you all got me clear over this video and uh, I please don't want to over pump you. So keep following and uh, if you have any video which you didn't understand, I, I always tell you that you can command on any of my video, I'll be there to guide you. So if you want to know more how this relay works here on my another video, I'm going to give you that link at the end of the video. So please, guys, thanks up. This is another wiring diagram because with the vehicles, they keep changing on, but uh, specifically this was uh, a wiring diagram in uh, RAV4 model Benz model or we have even uh, automatic Higa buses which work in this way thank you